All right, golf people, we just made it out to the course here and we're gonna take a look at the Garmin S62 virtual caddy feature, which is super cool. It'll help you choose the right club for every situation. And you only need five rounds of your Garmin S62 in order to unlock that feature. I've been playing with it all day. It's been working extremely well. I'm only two over on the front side. Let's see what we can do on the back side. And I'll take you through how this watch works. Let's do it. All right, this watch knows me all too well because it, it knows that there's a bunker up there on the right, as you can see, and that I often hit three wood here. So it's going to select three wood for me because driver, I can definitely hit the bunker. That is the beauty of this device. It's gonna take in the hazards into account, whether that's water, sand, or anything on the course that you might have to come in contact with. It's gonna take that into advisement and actually choose the proper club based on the conditions. It also takes wind into consideration as well, which is super cool. And it's always best to take the caddy's advice. I'm going three wood. That's a good one. So as we're coming up here to my ball, you can see why this virtual caddy is so useful. Here's the bunker that I might have hit if I would have taken driver. And here I am just a little bit short in the fairway because I went three wood. It's those little things that are gonna cut your score down, maybe one, two, maybe three strokes a round. And if you're looking to maybe get into the single digits or maybe you're looking to finally break 90, this could be the device that gets you there. You might be asking, how does this thing know what club to use? This is how it knows. It keeps track of every shot you've taken on all the rounds you've played, which is why you need to have at least five rounds carded in order to do that. And it's actually gonna give you stats for every single club in your bag. I'll just take you to my seven iron, just so you have an idea, because it's a baseline for a lot of people. My typical seven iron is 159. The maximum I've ever hit this using it, the watch is 169. So that's how it knows what the range of my seven iron should be. And again, it's also gonna take into account hazards on the course and also wind to give you a very accurate prediction on what club you should hit. All right, on the watch, it's telling me gap wedge. Gap wedge is the selection from 106. Again, I can move that pin if need be, but that pin does look middle. So that's what we'll stick with. Pulled it, but the distance was right. <laughs> and that's all that matters, right? So again, gonna ask me what club did I hit? I took my caddy's advice and I hit gap wedge. So as you can see, I pulled it a little bit. I was a little bit left, but I'm basically pin high. I'm about two yards ahead of the, ahead of the flag here. Gotta be happy with that one. Let's see if we can make a par. All right. All right, so new hole here. And let me show you other cool things about this watch. So you can actually take a look at a lot of the different features of this hole. There's water on this hole running up the full right side of the hole. And it would take 203 for me to carry it around the corner. Now 202. So that is a great feature to know exactly how far it is to carry. And then if we cycle through here, we can look at the different features. We've got some rough and a bunker up front, a bunker green side. And if we wanted to lay up, we need to 100 yards, we need to hit a 277 shot. Unfortunately, I don't have that in my bag yet. If we want to lay up to 150, which is pretty much what I'd like to do, looks like we need to hit a 229 shot. That I can do. Let's try it now. Now, interestingly enough, the virtual caddy wants me to take driver here and get aggressive, even though this is a super tight hole. As you can see, I've got woods on the left and I've got water on the right and a very narrow landing area. But hey, if the S62 believes in me, I believe in me too. I've launched the Garmin app, which is gonna give me access to another feature of the watch, which I love and also will help your virtual caddy, and that is wind. So the wind is in my face right now at six miles per hour, and that's gonna change based on your local weather conditions, and the virtual caddy is going to take that into account when it chooses the right club for you, which again is incredibly cool and makes this thing really effective. All right, now I wanna show you something else which is cool about the virtual caddy. Right now it's saying I have 133 to the flag stick and it's recommending an eight iron because there's a lot of wind in my face. So first of all, it's taking wind into account and number two, 
it's telling me what it is to the flag. But if I move that flag by hitting this red button here and choosing move flag, I can move that to a different position on the green. I'm gonna put it back here at 151 and see if that changes anything for us. Now it's telling me I need to hit a six iron. So that's a super cool feature that by moving the flag to a different position on the green, we're actually going to get a different reading and it's taking wind into account. Pretty cool. Another really cool feature about this is you can choose how you want to play the hole. It will give you different scenarios. So if I was to choose driver, I could go driver, five wood sand wedge on this particular hole. And on doing something like that, it's saying that I'll average 5.59 stroke. So you can find your probabilities here of success. Or I could take three wood off this hole and give myself not as good of a chance actually and it would be 5.65 strokes on average, three wood, seven iron, seven iron. So different ways to play the hole. Super cool that it's like talking to your caddy on the course. Like if Tiger Woods or Phil Mickelson and, or name your favorite golfer here actually had a discussion with their caddy on how they should play the hole, you can do that with the Garmin S62. So as you can see, I'm continued to be impressed by the Garmin S62. The deeper I dive into this device, the more and more I like it. I take it with me when I travel, I take it with me when I go to play my home course, and I even take it with me to the office and when I go out on the town. It's really one of the few golf GPS devices that I take with me everywhere and that can suit those other situations. Now, this is not a cheap device, but the way I look at things like this is if I'm going to spend the money, my hard earned money, I look at price per use. And if it's something that I'm gonna use on a daily basis, I can completely justify spending the money on something like this. So if you're on the edge, I can tell you for me, it has been well worth having this watch in my arsenal because it's helped me choose clubs better. It's helped me know how I hit my clubs better and know my distances. And like I said, it gets a lot of use outside the golf course as well. Now with that said, I've looked at almost every golf GPS smartwatch and this one definitely takes the cake. But if you wanna see some more budget friendly models or you wanna see how the Garmin S62 compares to some of the other ones I've tried, I will leave a link right here so that you can click there and watch that video. Now, if you've got something out of today's episode, please do hit the subscribe button because that really does help the channel. It helps us grow and that helps manufacturers notice us and hopefully give us some more cool golf gear like this so we can test it and give you our real honest reviews and help you make the right buying decision with your hard earned money as well. So please do hit subscribe and please do tell a friend about what we're doing here on Let's Play Through. I would appreciate that immensely as we try to grow this channel and bring you more golf tech reviews like this one. And I'll catch you on another edition of Let's Play Through.